right, what's up, guys? I am back. It's day 10 of the 12 days of whiskey. And I know I've been teasing the last two days being something special for you guys. And we might get into some allocated bourbons and some fancy stuff. So I would like to do the opposite today and do some bottom shelf bangers. These are stuff that are, are less than $25. They are re really, you know, I don't want to call them even bottom shelf because I feel like that gives them a bad name. But they're bottles that are on the more affordable side that are still very, very good. The first being this Old Tub Unfiltered Straight Whiskey. Old Tub is a uh, Jim Beam product. It comes from the James Beam Distillery. And this one's an open. I got an open one upstairs. It's um, it's solid. It's a solid pour. I know um, I like most Knob Creek stuff from Beam. And this is, you know, like their baby version of that. It's uh, by no means anything fancy, but it's a just a solid pour. I got it. I got it written down. 20 bucks. You can't beat a $20 bottle uh, of old tub. Bottle and bond. So, you know, so bottle and bond means, I mean, it means a lot of things, but it comes from one distillery. From one distilling season, it has to be aged a minimum of four years, and it's not like a batched or, or blended product. So, um, yeah, whenever you see bottle and bond, it means at least the distillery knows what the fuck they're doing. Um, the second one, same thing, JTS Brown. You guys, I, I've talked about this on, on in this series, and I'll keep talking about it longer into the new year. I love Heaven Hill products, and this is their bottom shelf product, Heaven Hill uh, JTS Brown bon bo Bottle and Bond, $17.99. $17.99 for a bottle that's aged four years. There's some bullshit-ass companies nowadays, you know, the, these new people batching and sourcing products. They're selling four-year-old bourbon for $60, $70 bucks sometimes, and this is a readily available product for $17.99. And I, I've got some right here. Um, it's 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 fine. It's very very good. It's uh, something that I would recommend you guys having if you want to mix it with something. That's fine, but you don't have to. It's a very good bourbon to drink straight for seventeen ninety nine. And uh, the next one, Benchmark Foolproof. I don't have a bottle on me. Benchmark is Buffalo Trace's low-end bourbon, their bottom shelf bourbon. Benchmark full proof, 125 proof for $25. That's full flavored bourbon, you know, cast strength bourbon for 25 bucks. So, you know, you see this stag up here that's 130 31 proof, and I got a couple of bottles, you know, 129, 128. Um Benchmark is is the same, you know, same mash bill, same juice. Obviously, it's lower quality, but for $25, you can't beat that deal. And the final one is something to shout out to Dougie Freshness. Uh, he's got the advent calendar that's been going. Um, he, he he gave it to us, the Chicago Sports Bums and uh, the 108 guys. It's early times. Early times, bottle and bond. Um, it's a company that has a rich history started by jack beam way back when in the 1920s sold to brown foreman in 1923 brown foreman are the makers of old forester uh, cooper's craft brown foreman also does um woodford reserve and so they made early time for the, for a long time and recently in 2020 they sold that company, the early times brand, to Sazerac. So Sazerac is now um, part of Buffalo, or it's Buffalo Trace's parent company, but it's also Barton 1792. So early times now is being bottled at the 1792 distillery. This is still the Brown Foreman version. Shout out Dougie again. He poured this in one of his advent calendars. And it's the same thing I keep saying. The old 
brown form in early times was the best value in bourbon. This bottle for a liter was, I believe I bought it at Kennewood Liquors for less than $25. And it was really, really it's still really, really good. I had a, I've, I've had a couple. Now, this is my last bottle of the brown form and juice. But even then, so the, the Sazerac juice, it's not the same. People say they're using the same recipe and nothing has changed. If you go on YouTube, you see some videos. It seems like, I, I mean, I've had it. It's not the exact same thing. But it's still fine. It's still very, very good for twenty five dollars. Um, I highly recommend early times as as it could be, you know, your daily drinker or or stuff that um, you don't always have to go very fancy. We are gonna go fancy the last two days, and um, I'm heading to Jason's house to record some videos for you guys. But um, for now, I hope you enjoy these bottom shelf bangers. Big, we can't all be fancy boys every day. Um, this is stuff that's really readily available, but still very high quality. So um, Merry Christmas, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another 12 days of whiskey.